Have you ever spent hours tweaking a design, searching for the perfect color palette, or attempting to create a visually striking text effect? In today's fast-paced world, creating visually appealing content quickly is not just a necessity, it's a requirement for success. Whether you're a marketer, entrepreneur, or content creator, you've likely felt the pressure of deadlines while striving to maintain high-quality designs. Canva has been a game-changer for many, but with so many features, it's easy to miss out on tools that could save time and enhance your creations. That's why we decided to put this video together. Say goodbye to unnecessary time wastage and hello to a brand new toolkit that'll boost your productivity and add a professional flair to your designs with minimal effort. So sit back and watch us unveil our top 7 Canva hacks that will make you 10 times more productive and bring more money into your account. You can't afford to miss them. Number 1. CanWave Are you tired of plain designs? With CanWave, you can create stunning looking designs with minimal effort. Look at what we came up with using CanWave. Simple yet professional. Wow. Go to apps and search for CanWave. Select the app. With CanWave, you can make a wave of solid colors, gradient colors, or even lines. The shape of the lines can be pointy or curved depending on your preferences. We're also free to tweak the waves, play around with the layers, shapes, and even generate different variations of the wave until we get something that we like. Once you're okay with the wave structure you have, import it into your canvas and proceed to incorporate it into your design. Let's see what we can make out of this. Our dashboard design looks just good. What do you think? How else can you use CanWave to enhance your designs? Let us hear your thoughts in the comments section. 2. Frames Control Picture this. You're working with a frame in a design and need to place another object that's necessary for the design within the surface area of the frame. It's no news that the frame element tries to absorb everything and make a frame out of it. But this can be circumvented. Let's see how. Select a frame of your choice and pick the base image to go into it. Now to the trick. Hold the control key on your keyboard while moving the object over the frame. What did you notice? This tip is important especially when we have a handful of design elements and we need to put elements in frames very close to those not in frames. What do you think of this? Now, to the third tip on our list, one that's been of great assistance to me, shade. Let's face it, to come up with the right colors to go with a design cannot be overemphasized. For beginners, it can be daunting to decide which color combinations are necessary to make your designs pop. With the shade app within Canva, your problems are over. All you need to do is provide shade a color code which it'll use as the base color. It'll then automatically create a palette of light and dark shades of your color. Let's see how this works.
We're not even done with the design, and it's already visually appealing. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about the power and flexibility that the Shade app adds to the design workflow. The next tip is even better. 4. Brand Fetch Do you need to include the brand logo of a popular brand like YouTube, Google, or LinkedIn in your design? Manually searching through Canva may not give you what you seek. However, there is an app within Canva that can help you create your designs and include official brand logos within your designs when the need arises. This can save you time that could have otherwise been used to surf the web in search of a brand logo that may not necessarily be an official logo. Let's see how it works. Go to apps and search for brand fetch. In the text box provided, search for the brand logo you want to use within your design. Brand fetch not only offers brand logos, but also provides brand colors. Simply import the logo or brand color you want to work with onto the canvas in the usual manner. And you're good to go. Designing with Canva is now easier than ever before. Tip 5. Wavy Text In graphic design, the color of a text or any element in your design is as important as the nature in which the text appears. Whether it is bold, italics, or wavy, different text forms can be used to create some form of emphasis. Bold and italicized text styles are predefined and can be applied with a simple click. However, creating wavy text in Canva requires a different approach. How can we achieve this effect? Stay tuned and you'll see. If you've not subscribed to our channel, hit that bell symbol below and turn on notifications to stay updated as we bring you more amazing content you'll love. Welcome back. First, create the text you want to make wavy. Then, go to Effects, scroll down, and under Text Shape, select Curve. Play around with it until you get the flow you want. How do you see this? You can create a waveform effect with any number of letters. Simply adjust the angles of each word to achieve your desired result. And this brings us to the next trick. 6. Hollow Text Effect Have you seen images like these? and think to yourself, well, this is cool. Exactly. They're cool. The best part is that it can be achieved using Canva in just three steps. Let's see how it works. Select the image you want to work with. Write the text you want to use in achieving the hollow effect. Once you're okay with the size and color of the text, duplicate it and go to position to align the two texts, making sure they're well centered. Select the topmost text. Go to effect and add the hollow style text effect. We didn't get our text positioning well, so we'll go ahead and reposition it and move the layer with the image between the two text layers. Almost in no time, we have gotten the hollow effect. Isn't that beautiful? Finally, the last tip on our list today is mockups. If you've been in design for a while, you should be aware of the concept of mockups. A way of presenting your design in a form it could take before actually going into production. Canva has made it easy to mock up your designs by incorporating a mockup app into their site. Like with the branded logos, you can easily find an amazing mockup for your design without leaving the app. Simply search for mockups in the app section. Select a mockup that should be able to present your design well. Just like with frames, you just have to drag the image you want to mock up and place it on the mockup design. Voila! You can see how our hollow text design demo will look when viewed on full screen using a laptop. By incorporating these tips and tricks into your Canva workflow, you're not just saving time, but also unlocking a new level of design quality and creativity. Whether you're a seasoned designer or just starting, these features can help you produce eye-catching, professional quality designs with ease. Take advantage of these lesser known apps and workarounds in Canva and watch your productivity and designs soar. 
What do you think about these tips? Which of them are you going to incorporate into your workflow going forward? Let us know in the comments section. Kindly subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more tech updates, interesting tips, and the best of AI news. See you in the next one.